Hey guys, uh, welcome to College United Engineering with Bongani Kumede. So today we'll be looking at the symbols and the uh, signs that you need to know for your ARPL or your trade test. I'm just going to show you how to draw them. I'll not explain its function and the operation. I'll post another video where I explain the operation and the functions of it. So the first thing that we're going to start with is going to be your contactor. And this is how you draw your contactor. Then you have T1, T2, T3. So this is your input, your output. That's how you draw your contactor. And uh, the coil of a contactor. You love your A1, your A2. You can either draw it like this or put that, uh, that diagonal, uh, diagonal line like that and you say C. Or you can say K1 since we are working with K1. That's how you will do it. And then the normally close contact. You can draw it like this. Normally close of K1, then the normal open you can draw it like this and say normally open K1, or you can also draw it like this. It's still fine. So we're done with uh, everything about the contactor, and uh, we'll need. To Okay, the overload, overload, and this is how you draw it. L1, L2, L3, T1, T2, T3. And that's how you draw your overload. And your contact, the 95 and 96, you will draw it like this. And it's a normally close. It's normally close, but you can just write 95, 96. So that's how you write it. That's how you draw it, I mean. And then we'll go to the push buttons. The push buttons, push buttons. You have your stop button. You have your start button, you have your emergency stop button. So for the emergency, your emergency stop button you will write like this. And then you put ES at top to show that it's an emergency stop button. And your stop button you will write like this. This is your stop, you put a zero at the top, and your start button. You put a one on top, or you can put an eye. It's still uh, acceptable. So that's it about push buttons. And then let's look at uh, the timers. The first thing that we are going to look at on the timers is a uh, delay on. And this is how you draw it. That's the coil of a delay on. You have your A1, your A2, or you can say 210, still fine. And then your delay off. or 2 and 10, still fine. So um, that's how you you do a delay of timer. Uh, and a delay of timer is actually one and the same like a delay on, it's just that instead of doing a cross, you just see uh, the whole area. 
and now the contact of a, which is the normal open of the timer. Normal open will be like this, but you must write normally open of timer. And then the normally close will be or you can still do it like this still fine we can do the other way it's still fine so that's for the normally open and the normally close of timer but even if you do like this as long as you write you say normally open of timer it's still correct and even here as long as you write you say normally close of timer will still give you a right because of it's closed and we can see by those doors that it's a, it was a normal open now it's a normally closed so now let's look at the limit switch and this contact uh, will be normally open That's your normally open of limit switch LS. And then you normally close. So normally close of limit switch. So that's it about uh, the limit switch. And then again, you have your diode. diode and you have your transistor transistor mm. that's how you draw your transistor and uh, your capacitor you will have to draw it like this so capacitor and then you see plus minus and then um, you have to again I think a uh, circuit breaker then your circuit breaker will be like this that's how you draw your circuit breaker L1, L2, L3, T1, T2, T3 so that's your triple circuit breaker. And then let me check if I've left something that uh, is very important. Uh, the ammeter, that's how you draw it. And a voltmeter sign, and that's how you will draw it. And the transformer will be represented by this sign. And um, that's actually it about the science that uh, you need to know and understand for you to be able to do your ARPL and your trade test. So I will post another video where I will show you the actual meaning uh, and the functions. Thank you for watching. Shop, shop.